my name's Rob, I'm from APS Garden Machinery and I like to talk about Steel's MSA-C battery cordless chainsaw. Believe it or not, this chainsaw here is equivalent to Steel's petrol MS231, which is quite a way up from their entry level chainsaw. So this has got a lot of power in here. Um, and on my other video I'll show you when I demonstrate when I'm cutting some logs just to show you the thickness that it can do. It has a 14 inch bar. They use the micro, what I call the micro chainsaw, which is now used on the Arborist chainsaws, petrol chainsaws that they've got, which is on the MS150 and their one MS194. And they also use this chain now on their pole saws. I mean, I'm talking the HT101s, 133. So this chain isn't a lightweight chain. This is a very good chain here, and it does cut very well. Um, it saves time, the performance is excellent. The battery here, we are talking, this is in the professional range. So the batteries are the AP range. So you get the AP 100, 200, and 300. I'll give you the times on them. So they don't really rec I think they, they don't recommend the AP100 because there's not enough running time. The AP200 is 42 minutes, the AP300 is 45, and then the AP300S is 48 minutes. Where would I go? For the price um, and the trigger time, if I was in looking at purchasing uh, myself batteries, I'd by the AP200, purely by that you may be saving a little bit of money, but you're not gaining a lot of time. So 42 minutes, have a second battery, spare, uh, just in case you do run out of time. And then as you can see here, you get a quick charger and it boils you up and a cup of tea, plug it in and away you go. As you can see on here, there's one bar already in use and I'll just put it in here. I mean you've got to understand this machine here in itself there's no petrol there's going to be no fumes no vibrations apart from the blades that's going to be when it's cutting the wood um, there's no emissions nothing like that it's beautiful it's just a simple and easy machine there's no recall to start the engine there's no faffing around it's simple um, simply just literally with a safety button there, squeeze that and away you go. So there is a lot of power. That's why you don't, that's why you don't get much running time with these machines. It has the same concept of the safety mechanism with this with the hand brake uh, or chain brake as it is, purely because if you do get, get a kit back, um, you generally in the action, if you do get a kit back, you do that. However, in many times, uh, your reaction doesn't, if you haven't done it many times, your reaction would be hands there. So we do recommend to all our customers to buy the safety gloves. These are not just normal standard gloves. These are, they have thousands of fibers in, in the hands here. So what happens is all the fibers will come around and it will just choke up and it will block the chain from, going further around before it starts cutting into your hand. If the kickback is too quick for you to react and stop it, it will then go to the crown of your head. So even though this is not going to be ideal having the ear defenders, but you know, ear defenders at some point you probably will benefit with that. This here will save you from getting a, uh, any damage from the chain on your, on your crown of your head. So, and again, the visor is always going to be some, some splinters coming from the, from the wood or dust. So a visor is always ideal to have or, or goggles. With the chainsaw itself, it's got a quick chain tensioner, got that right? <laughs> which is basically, there's no tools required when you need to either readjust the chain or you need to change the chain or there's sawdust in the back here preventing the oil to go on the chain. 
Um, so the idea is, it's just simple and easy. Leave, lift that lever there, turn it down, and I'll just show you. And that's it. It comes off. There's no no socket, no spanners, nothing there, nothing whatsoever. That's it's tool free. Um, and believe it or not, after a period of time, you, you'll find a lot of sawdust collected here, and it can prevent from the oil getting onto the chain. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute from from lubricating the chain. I, I'll explain the reason why. But the most important thing is when you do put back the chain onto here. It is simple and easy, he says. You just tight back that one. But before I tighten it, I just want to explain to you some other points as well. Just around here, that here is the chamber that you put your chain oil in there to keep it looping. Now the reason for all these is basically this is two or three points on why the chain won't cut through wood is either the chain is blunt um, or the chain is loose or the chain is not lubricant. If, you have, if those three things are not working, then are not there, then the chain won't cut through any wood. And as you can see here, it's a bit sloppy. That's a too much. It needs to be like an elastic band so you can pin it. So the idea is, with this tensioner here, I can just adjust it with my thumb to what I feel is now look perfect. It's got a nice spring to it. But you don't want it too tight because when you start tightening the outer casing, that actually pulls the bar out a little bit more so that it gets more spring. So that's perfect. And also with the chain pointing in the right direction is, is clockwise is important because otherwise it won't cut and also with the oil coming through it will run around and keep it lubricant so simple and easy now the chain I think I can be able to turn it around take that off that's too tight for me to do that the important thing is even that's quite now that's perfect that will turn nice and easy so if I turn it on simple and easy if there's any questions, please just email me at rob at apsgardenmachinery.com or email me through YouTube. I've got some great prices coming up on these machines here. I'll be doing some great prices on the PPE clothing. Um, yeah, if you want to have a look at my website, it's apsgardenmachinery.com. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much. Stay safe. See you soon. Thank you.